romance under the sea. It's always a spectacular to see. It's the perfect complement for a romantic encounter. Even better if it's underwater. That's when several Goliath groupers, 50 to 100, congregate at one place. That's where these prehistoric creatures come together and spawn. It's only once a year, usually the full moon of August and September. Its name is Goliath grouper, the largest grouper fish in the Atlantic Ocean. It could grow up to 8 feet long and weight half a ton. And why is this love encounter important? Because they could lose their life. On those nights, for decades, fishermen killed massive numbers of groupers until it nearly went extinct in the 1980s. In 1990, a federal and a state moratorium started in the United States. Dr. Sara Frias has studied the Goliath groupers during the last eight years. She says this creature coexisted with the dinosaurs. Today, Florida is the only place in the world where you can see Goliath groupers regularly. All year, even the day of the love encounter. Hours earlier, Frias went scuba diving off Jupiter, one of the few places where we can see adult Goliath groupers. They are here today because as Jupiter they survived man's attack by hiding. During the first eight to ten years of their life, they live under mangroves. These are trees we see in places like the Florida Keys. Their roots form caves where the groupers grow until they mature. Then they migrate to the reef where they live for more than 40 years. Then, the day they mate, during courtship between male and female, notice how they have different colors, from light to dark. Adults associate with the structures, such as coral reefs and artificial reefs. And that's how I saw them, inside a wreck. Incredibly, they don't attack people, on the contrary. As a scuba instructor, I'm against spearfishing with a scuba gear. Eduardo Rales and our cameraman Clemente Atia took us to the Goliath group, and we understood that if they are not attacked, they are peaceful. If you shoot them, those animals will defend themselves, and they can kill you. Besides overfishing, their juvenile habitat, the red mangrove nursery, has been quickly destroyed. For example, what is now downtown Miami, a century ago, was all red mangrove jungle, where these species lived as juveniles. Today in Florida, hundreds of scuba divers pay thousands of dollars to see the groupers. We also know that the meat of this grouper has a very high mercury content and has many parasites. And if someone kills them, they could pay up to a thousand dollar fine, lose their fishing gear and their boat. The irony in this story is how a romantic encounter under a full moon, like Romeo and Juliet, almost was the end for this species. The Goliath grouper. And thanks to the federal moratorium, we can still see this enigmatic fish in United States waters. Let's hope not only us, but also future generations, especially in Florida. Ivan Taylor, Telemundo 51.